Hi, this is Greg Tomlinson with Challenger Homes. Welcome to Village Center in Monument, Colorado. This is the video tour of our Jackson plan. This is a ranch plan. It's a five bedroom, four bath home as it's built here in Village Center in stucco and stone. The main level of this home is three bedrooms, two baths with a large family room and a great, fantastic big kitchen. The basement on this home is a finished walkout basement with two additional bedrooms, a rec room, a theater room, and plenty of other space. This home is built with a three car garage. Stay tuned for the inside tour. The first thing you notice when you enter the Jackson is a sense of space. Even the foyer is wide and open. Great place to greet guests. And it has a double coat closet, which is extremely helpful for coats and a little bit of storage space up front. Down this hallway is a laundry room and two bedrooms that we'll look at in just a second. But right now, let's walk into the family room. This plan's family room is 20 by 20. Very spacious, very open. This one features a fireplace with mantle and hearth, triple windows, and a nice view. In addition, we have our open staircase railing that adds to the feeling of openness that runs down to the basement. This is the master entry area right here. We'll take a look around this room. And this prominent feature that this home has is a beautiful large kitchen. This kitchen is actually large enough for a 5 by 11 island. This kitchen features stagger top cabinets, crown molding, double ovens, a gas cooktop, a walk-in pantry, and walnut floors. Another great feature that this particular home has is a writing desk right here in the kitchen area. To the left of the writing desk is the mud room. These are becoming more and more popular. Some people call them drop zones. Very convenient place to hang a coat or snowy boots when you come in from outside. And this is the entry to the garage actually. So coming home from a long day's work, carrying groceries, settling in, this is your entry view. Well appointed kitchen, open and inviting. Just a great layout. As we head toward the rear of the home, this is our eating area. It's 13 by 17. This is enough space for a large table with a leaf. If you have formal things, a china cabinet, a server, this would be a great location for that as well. And again, this home is on a walkout basement. So as such, it has a deck. On a standard basement situation, this would be a concrete patio. And also in this plan is about six feet of covered porch that we've heard great things about as well. Looking back into our kitchen, here's another view of the island cabinetry. It's a family room. Fireplace from a different vantage point. Now let's go take a look at the master bedroom. This master bedroom features a entry that has an angle so that the master is a little bit isolated from the family room. As you know, many plans nowadays, you've got a direct view from the family room into the master and some of these ranch plans. This one beats all those hands down. The master bedroom in the Jackson is 15.6 by 16.9. And this one features a detail in the ceiling as well as a ceiling fan. The master bath features a frameless shower with a ceramic tile base. This one has a tub deck and a large soaker tub. Raindrop glass, double windows in this one. One of these windows is optional. And then this plan also has a double vanity. This one has deeply stained cabinets. A water closet area here and then the master closet.
back to our foyer. Okay, this area features two bedrooms and a laundry. We'll take a look at the laundry room first. This laundry has additional space for a folding table or possibly a laundry sink. Continuing towards the front of the home. This is bedroom three on the floor plan. It's 13 by 12. It's a full bath just to the right to serve these two front bedrooms and guests. On the plan, this is bedroom two. In this home, it's featured as a study, but it could just as easily be a bedroom. Back into the foyer. Let's go take a look at the basement. As we head down to the basement, the first thing you notice is these wide stairs. This is a great alternative to the long 16 foot staircases that you see in so many homes today. And the first thing that I think of every time I come down to this basement is entertaining, fun, Super Bowl parties, hanging out with friends, poker night. This, bed, this basement features nine foot ceilings, a wet bar, a large central area, a hallway that leads to a powder room, and then this open space over here that's all connected. On the floor plan, this is the lounge area. And then the rear portion, we have set up with a poker table, but it's just all about space and all about entertaining. And since this home is on a walkout, there's a concrete patio underneath the deck. In a standard basement, this, this uh, walkout, this slider door wouldn't be here neither with those windows. Again, there's our wet bar. Family room, uh, so, I'm sorry, rec room. All right, continuing over to the hallway that connects two bedrooms and the Jack and Jill bath. So this bedroom here on the plan is bedroom number four. It's a good sized bedroom, ample closet space. And this bedroom is connected to a Jack and Jill bath. So our Jack and Jill bath has a separate area for the sinks and then a wall with the water closet and tub area in their own separate area with a door separating. This is bedroom five on the plan, rear bedroom. It's the largest secondary bedroom in the home. Again, generous size closet. Coming back out to our hallway that connects the bedrooms. This is the way we've already been. That's bedroom four right there. And then here's the rec room again. wet bar. Up forward this plan features a powder room which is great because it means your guests don't have to go through the bedrooms to get to the bathroom The Jack and Jill. It provides a, a separate powder room. Very convenient. Moving forward we find a theater room slash game room. This one is set up as kind of a play area. Couches, TV, we put 5.1 surround sound in this room. You could set it up however you want it or even leave it unfinished for storage space. Heading back out to the rec space, the rec room. So imagine hosting a party, having your friends down here, or upstairs for that matter. The Jackson can accommodate. So that's the Jackson Basement. Thanks for watching.